In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the SD50 status display in measure mode using Pro Editor. From the home page of Pro Editor, choose the measure tile, then you can see all the different facets we can change. First, I'm going to make sure that my PFM PWM setting is set to PFM and that my PFM low and high are set to 100 and 600 hertz. This is because we're connecting to a Q4X, which has those limits. My filter level, I'm going to leave at none, and my hysteresis level, I'm going to leave at medium. My output scale value is what's actually going to show on the display when the frequencies are changing. So when the frequency is at 100 hertz, I want it to display 50. And when it's at 600 hertz, I want it to display 1000. My bar graph orientation, I'm going to change to 3, which if you hover over that, it says it's filling the graph from 3 to 1, which is referring to this image over here filling from the 3 on the left to the 1 on the right. I'm going to leave my display bar graph checked so we do get an indication as the frequency changes. I'm going to uncheck bar graph only so we can still see data labels and display text. And I am going to uncheck display slim bar graph so the bar graph takes up the full width of the SD50. My data label, I'm going to change to distance equals. And my value label, I am going to change to millimeters with decimal places zero. When there is nothing in the display text, the display will then show my data label, my output scale value, and my value label. And I have that output scale value set to have zero decimal places. Now for my display text, I want those value labels to come through on my middle two thresholds. So I'm going to leave those blank in the display text. Then when I'm at the low threshold, I want to say too close on the display. And at my high threshold, I want to say too far. My animations and colors change the colors of the RGB LEDs on the sides of the display. So at my end thresholds, my too cl close and too far, I'm going to have them be flashing red to say you are in the wrong zone. And then I'm going to have the center ones be 50-50 flash, green and yellow to say you are in the good zone. I'm going to leave my percentages at 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. If you hover over these percentages, it gives you what frequency range that is. Now I'm going to click the right button to write to the device. If at any point you want to use these same settings, you can click the demo settings button and it'll load the same configuration I used in this video. Now I'm going to disconnect the SD50 from Pro Editor and connect it to my control device and Q4X sensor. Now I have the SD50 connected to a Q4X sensor. So you can see with the target where it currently is, we are in the middle zone where we get the green and yellow flashing LEDs and a distance value. As we move the target away, we hit our too far threshold and then you can see the bar graph change, the distance change, and now we get our too close animation and display. In the center, again, showing that distance equals and then the value and value label. This has been a configuration demonstration for the SD50 status display. Check out our other SD50 demo videos for additional control modes.